good morning guys and welcome back to my channel today is saturday and i really have nothing planned for the day so i just decided to sleep in and decided to film this morning routine which is really chilled and laid back so i just decided to take you along with me i hope you guys are really fine so on saturdays when i have nothing planned i just sleep in and just take my time my sweet time sweet sweet time in bed so the first thing that i do whether it's a weekend or not is just have that glass of water i like to have my glass of water on my side table just so i'm prompted to have a glass of water when i wake up i also like to take my supplements first thing in the morning uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I've listed all my supplements in my highlights. So be sure to check them out to see what I have and the benefits of each and every supplement that I take. After taking my supplements i got out of bed and i opened my blinds all the way up and i opened the windows just to let the air in and i usually just make my bed after i have my shower because i just like for the air to circulate while i'm having a shower <laughs> I then headed straight to the bathroom to have my shower and the first thing that I like to do is let the water run just so it gets warm while I undress and get everything ready. I then hopped into the shower and today I am shampooing my hair and conditioning it. I'm using this shampoo from OG OGX and I'm also using their conditioner as well. <laughs> So after applying the conditioner to my hair, I like to leave it in for about five to 10 minutes while I wash my body. To cleanse my body today, I'm going in with this Dove Pampering Coconut Milk Soap. I love, love this beauty bar. It's just as moisturizing as every other beauty bar from Dove. If you've been following me for a while, you already know that I love Dove. We love Dove on this channel. So I first go in with this face cloth, which I only use for my body, by the way. I don't use this on my face. I love using the face cloth to cleanse before going in with the body wash because I feel like the face cloth really gets into each and every corner of my body, making sure behind my ears, behind my knees, behind everything is really clean before i go in with my body wash after cleansing my body with the beauty bar i then just rinse off all the soap making sure i've got none left on my body guys i just wanted to elaborate that it is important that you take warm showers if you're gonna be doing a whole pamper routine because that means you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the shower and you don't want to use hot water because that will just strip your body of its natural oils and if you someone with a dry screen this is bad news so after that i'm just going in with my dove coconut and jasmine body wash which is just a complementary body wash to that soap that i used earlier and i'm also just going in with this exfoliating washcloth guys this exfoliating washcloth has really changed my life honestly it's really changed changed my shower routine it really does exfoliate your skin to the part like it leaves your skin feeling really nice and smooth and the other thing that i love about this exfoliating cloth is that it's quite long so it makes washing your back really easier instead of using your regular loafer i think i'm only left with one loafer guys because i i've had so many loafers in my life but the other thing too is this dries completely like completely dry after having your shower so it doesn't breed bacteria as much as the loafers does because loafers tend to be so thick and they don't really dry completely in between your showers and you have to change them very often so i am really really impressed ever since i started using this exfoliating wash cloth my 
shower game has been elevated baby so i am just going to wash all over my body i don't like going in with my exfoliating cloth underneath my feet or in between my feet i just feel like that part of my body is quite filthy so i like to use something else instead of my exfoliating washcloth you're the reason i'm going out of my mind i just so after rinsing off the body wash this is when i also like to rinse off my hair conditioner because i don't like rinsing off the conditioner after i'm completely done with my shower because i just feel like it leaves a layer of oil on your back i don't know if it's just me but because i have an acne prone back i really want my back to be squeaky clean after having my shower so i am just rinsing off my hair conditioner to scrub my body today i'm going in with this dove exfoliating body polish i really love love this stuff guys i think this is one of the first body scrubs that i used when i got into body scrubbing i love the texture it's so smooth it's so soft and it's so moisturizing so what i do is i just apply all over my body and then i go in with this silicone body scrubber and i then exfoliate using this the only reason i do this is because this body polish is not as grainy as all the other body scrubs that use sugar and salt so i find it much easier to use this body scrubber because otherwise i will just use a lot of product if you don't have this silicone body scrubber you can just go ahead and use your exfoliating washcloth there's no problems i've done it before and it works just as fine you make me want to stay in on it you're the reason i can't get out my head i just can't stop thinking about you i just can't stop thinking about you for my feet today i'm going in with this petty scrub sponge i recently picked this up from tk max and i think it was only five bucks and you get 20 uses out of it which i think it's pretty reasonable to use it you just wet it under water and you just start scrubbing and this is what happens it lathers up and it's also got coconut oil that means it also leaves you moisturized I like it because it is not abrasive i think it's really gentler compared to using a stone which i still use a stone sometimes because i believe in my stone i'm also going in with this foot brush just to make sure in between my toes and underneath my nails it's really clean before i rinse off my feet all right guys so i might need you to listen because i'm about to plug you i'm about to give you the biggest plug of the year so this is something that i recently started doing before shaving my hoo-ha because before shaving you have to make sure that the area is really moisturized and exfoliated before shaving so i am going in with my exfoliating gloves and my body oil give it a really good scrub a really good scrub before going in with my shaving razor i like using these big shaving sticks they are cheap and i just dispose them after use i also go in with my femme fresh wash which i really like i don't use this inside guys just on the outside after that i go in with my ordinary face cleanser and i just cleanse my face in the shower because i am not doing any 20 step face routine this morning um i'm just not in the mood so i'm just giving my face a really good wash while we're still on the issue of shaving i also just wanted to let you know uh, that the reason why we get ingrown hairs or we get itchy or irritated skin after shaving is because we shave dry skin we shave dry skin so what the exfoliation does especially with oil it softens your hair follicles and it makes it so much easier and it makes it so much gentle for you to shave on moisturized skin and it is also just as important for you to moisturize your skin after shaving be it with oil or extra moisturizing cream that just works great 
so that's it guys i am done with my shower so as soon as i step out of the shower i like to moisturize my skin Skin while it's still damp with my body oil today i'm just using this one from neutrogena for my back which i mentioned earlier on that it is acne prone i got in with my glycolic acid this is a been life changing i will insert a before video somewhere on the screen i also make sure to go in with it behind my ears guys it is important that you apply sunscreen when you use these chemical exfoliants it is important that you apply sunscreen otherwise you are doing nothing so yeah i hope this is as helpful give it a try if you've got acne prone skin on your back it also works well on my face as well Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like the fast life You like the drive, get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight out mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep Like I said, in the mornings, I don't go overboard with my skincare routine. I just focus on making sure that my skin is well moisturized. So I like to go in with my rose water, just spray that. That works as a toner and also just extra moisturization on my skin. I then go in with my hyaluronic acid. And after that, I just use a lightweight moisturizer. I've been using this one from tk max it's called skin standard i have never seen it anywhere else but it works really nice and it also has extra hyaluronic acid after that i just make sure that my lips are well moisturized as well and i make sure to apply eye cream guys i never realized the importance of eye cream up until i had under eyes that were dry literally dry the only reason i got to realize that they were dry is because i used to like applying makeup guys and every time i applied my concealer my under eyes just never stayed like they never never seemed to be smooth they always cracked and for a while i really hated to put makeup on but now that my skin is doing great i'm in love with putting makeup on again i think you may have seen me on instagram just wearing makeup for no reason when i go to the mall to do some shopping so to seal everything in i am just going in with my rose hip seed oil and after that i just go in with my body care i love this mecham clinical gel it leaves no marks and i just make sure it's dry before i also apply my deodorant i'm using this invisible dove deodorant which is also moisturizing on my armpits i love dove guys i think it's something that i know i don't need to keep saying i love dove i'm also going in with this vaseline right and glow skin serum it is a lightweight moisturizer i love this guys because it really sinks into my skin leaving my skin moisturized and i don't have to rub forever i don't have to rub forever and because it's getting really warmer i love lightweight moisturizers and I am also going in with this fragrant body lotion from Victoria's Secret. I like to apply this on my upper body just so when I go in with my body mist, everything just smells amazing. After I was done with my body care, I just went ahead and started making my bed.
on weekends that i have nothing planned guys i literally like legit spend the day in my pajamas but i like to wear some cute pajamas if i'm gonna spend the day in my jammies So I went ahead and made myself a lemon and ginger tea. So I just put some lemon and ginger and poured some boiling water. I let that sip for about 5 to 10 minutes while I was making my breakfast. I then removed the lemon and added some honey to my tea and I just enjoyed that while just scrolling on my phone. Devotion and stardust I'm all got it all in control Now I know what I want Like a natural woman Because today is a really chill day I am just gonna spend the rest of the day Sitting on the couch Probably sleep some more Or you know watch something on the TV I'm not really a TV person So I'll probably just catch up on YouTube And I am just going to try and read this book Which I've had for a while And I I don't know I have had it for a while And I just can't seem to finish it I just can't seem to finish it But I'm gonna try I'm gonna try today So that's it guys thank you so much for spending my sunday morning with me guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and it has motivated you to just do one or two things and i think this is a really great motivator for just you know pampering yourself and taking some time to relax you don't have to be busy all the time so up until my next video take care